Okay guys, what is going on? I am Steve Paxman. You guys are awesome college vlog. Sorry, something. But today we have our business class, which is the first one to start the day off. And the most memorable thing for that class is the, the great debate between iPhones versus Android. We all know the tech competition, everyone has their own loyal fan base and we also got into a lot of good everyone's arguing in that class today we have one side that's all for iphones the other side is all for androids and how that came up is we're talking about some of the strengths and weaknesses of companies because it's a business management class and we use samsung um are you gonna say android or samsung i meant to say samsung not whatever i said earlier i don't remember what i said but it's iphone versus samsung we can make a correction there. Um, so we're talking about how all the iPhones are exploding, what the weaknesses are in, and it was causing a huge debate where someone ended up taking their phone, their note, their note, I think they had a Note 7, which they shouldn't have it, because it could blow up in the middle of class, which we're also making fun of that. Which it really could blow up during the middle of class. So at least that wasn't the reason why we had fire it yesterday. I think something happened in the welding welding department yesterday and it caused the fire alarm to go off. Something happened like that. So anyway, back to that. So if I talk about any more fire alarms, probably because someone's night blew, blew up to our class, which I wouldn't be a one to be around anyone when that happens. I'm um, actually not that far away from that too. So if there's an explosion, hopefully no one gets hurt, but it could take a lot, bunch of people out. Oh, his fingers crossed that it doesn't happen. But hey, it could be a lawsuit. That could be good for me. Um, so we haven't arguments but on that so he took his phone over the garbage can borrow his phone's water and dump like my phone's waterproof iphone 7 is not well it is but to a point to a certain point he he dumps water all over his phone during the middle of class it was a classic moment it was one time i wish i had my phone out but everything was happening so quickly arguments were going back and forth but it was it was int interesting kept the class really really fun i have to say and then we jumped maybe two hours later to my anthropology class and somehow it turned into the great political debate. So I pretty much had a bit, the whole day been all debates and stuff, but it's been fun. It was a very interesting day. I think most of us in that class are on the same page on what's going on. Uh, we don't really have any good options this time around for an election, but would you rather have Donald Trump, which is really unexperienced, um, or Hillary, even though she has a bunch of um, bad things, negative things towards her, um, having her because she's so much more experienced than a lot of people, even the people, other Republicans or other Democrats that were, could have possibly been the final two choices. Uh, I mean, even though she has a lot of negative, negative stuff about what happened to her in the past, I mean, everyone makes mistakes. I mean, I also go to say for Donald Trump. But Donald Trump is not experienced enough at all, and he's had a big mouth. And most of the things he wants to do would never would not go through the Senate or however that works. It would, it just wouldn't work. Um, I guess it goes, it's not only him to decide. For all people, for all you people out there who are international, not from the United States, um, the president doesn't make the rules. He just gives ideas, and as it goes through the Senate and all that kind of stuff, gets voted on. So it's a, it's a long process. The president doesn't really have too much power if you think about it. But still, we don't want you don't want someone like Donald Trump representing the country for what he says. Um, I mean, even international people by now probably know everything that's going on um, in our country at the moment. It's all internet turning into all international news. But I mean, you still gotta make treaties. You still gotta do like I'm trying to think of the words to use here. Political thing, which Donald Trump has no experience compared to Hillary. I mean, I, I like I originally wanted Bernie. That was my original, original go-to guy. I mean, not because he he wanted make college free or anything, but I just see a guy. He seemed like a really nice old old guy. Where's my Bernie stuff? I had. Here's my Bernie flyer. It's on on our door during that primary. Where's the button I had? I had a button in here. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. Down here? Well, I had a button too. But I don't know where it, where it went. Yeah, but original. Oh, here it is. It was all for. I was. Bernie. I mean. There's not much negative thing to say about Bernie. Um, compared to Hillary or Donald. 
Um, that's why I liked him, and I just I took a, some kind of poll online, and I got which person I'm most like, or who I should, who what my things uh, match up to theirs, and I got Bernie. I think Donald Trump was my very my very last one. I think Jeb Bush was also one of the ones to blow it too. Hillary was somewhere, possibly in the middle. I got more like the liber the liber um the li liberal people like the like the third party um person. But I don't remember who it is. I really don't remember who it was. But I got some third party one. I got Bernie at some third party, um, and then Hillary was somewhere in the middle, and Donald Trump was all at the bottom, and a couple other Republicans were at the bottom too. But I'm mostly I'm not Republican or Democrat. Well. I'm Republican or I'm Democratic, but um, from according to my test, I'm more like a liberal kind of thing. I'm like in the middle, not really strong on either side, which I think find find that very, very interesting. Um, but the last I voted for our Obama last election, um, last two elections actually, my very first election was in um, 2012. <laughs> I think about that for a second, and I just I just turned 18. I was 18 by a month, just turned 18. So with Obama, the first election that was against um, uh, what's his name? I forget his name. Um, the guy that the guy that was in the Grinch. I always I always cause I always look at that picture. I think of the guy in the Grinch. Um, but I, yeah, I voted for him in that first election. My first election, I got to vote for. Um, and then I voted for his re-election back. Um, no, I didn't. I'm really messing up here. I voted for his re-election back to 2012. 2008 was when he first elected. That was only in 8th grade, so I couldn't vote for that. So I'm, getting all, I'm getting all my time mixed up right now. I don't know. I had a long day of school. So all these debates and stuff. Um, so yeah, so I voted for his re-election. <laughs> okay, so this is my second um, presidential election. Uh, it is it's all up in air. I mean, this is the most... The craziest election... That's probably ever happened in history, um, let alone for it being in my time period. It's like people are looking back at a couple hundred years from now, like, what the hell happened? How did this happen? We're living in history at this moment, right now, for this election, how crazy it is. So, we can all think about that for a second. How our grandkids and our great grandkids are all going to be looking back at this moment in history class, and they're going to wonder what the hell went wrong. So, that's what's going on for my, as my thoughts and opinions on that. Um, very interesting. I know a lot of our YouTubers and Casey started this where he wants other people YouTubers to talk about their political political stuff. So I, I hey I gave mine. I try try giving try being equal, but I know like, there is kinda of a little bit bias bias in that. There's always any time you talk politics there's always gonna be some bias. You can never be you can never be um equal on that, I guess you could say 'cause everybody has their standpoint of what what they feel um, so guys yeah that's mine um interesting how this vlog just turned into that wasn't really expecting that um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys again tomorrow